Welcome to Haxby Shed. My lathe came as standard with a four-way tool holder. It's a nice bit of equipment, but I got tired of adjusting the tool heights all the time, and although it's four-way, somehow I never seem to get more than two tools in it at any time. I really wanted a multi-fix tool holder. I looked at my tool post fixing and I realised that whatever size of multi-fix I chose, I would need to build some kind of adapter. I had to decide which multi-fix to buy, and I watched a number of YouTube videos on the various models available, and I did a lot of web research. But in the end, I liked this one that I saw on eBay. The seller was a company in Germany and I emailed them with many questions about which size to choose. I found the seller to be extremely responsive and they explained that they'd made many changes to the original design, small improvements here and there. So with that confidence, I went ahead and ordered. Very soon it arrived as a tracked parcel. I bought the main body and a number of tool holders. It was close to my birthday and a number of my family chipped in towards the cost. So as soon as I could get into the shed, I started work on the adapter. First to make the post. Here you can see the body sitting snugly on the post. On the base you can see three holes, which can take a peg, 6mm I think. The peg can be used to lock the body to the base so that it can't turn if there is a high turning force when making heavy cuts. The three holes are spaced so that you can index the body by a third of a tooth, effectively giving 120 positions. Having finished the mounting peg, I turned the adapter round to work on the back. I finished the adapter base with the post held in a collet to try to minimise marking. Now I needed to set up my homemade lathe milling attachment and machine the adapter to fit the top slide. Here we can see the adapter finished. And shortly after, my multi-fix was set up and ready for action. Well, thank you very much for my birthday present. I've finally got this tool holder set up. Basically, you move this lever, you can lift the tools on and off, you can put a different tool on. I've got five of these. When you put it the right way around, look, it just drops on like that and then you can lock it in place. It also moves round by 40 positions, so you see here this. So I can, I can swivel that round, so I can't film and do this. And then I can change position and lock it up. Thank you. Here's a laugh for you. Thank you for your my birthday present. I finally got this tool holder set up. Basically, you can move this lever. Whoop, can't see like this. <laughs> Pull the tool off. Put a different tool on. Lock it on. And actually, when this is off, you can move this round to 40 positions. So you can put the tool on at a funny angle. I've got five of these tool holders. This is impossible to do with one hand, I'm sorry. What a terrible video this is. No, still can't get it right with one hand. You get the idea. All right, bye. Thank you for watching Hacks Be Shared. I hope you liked that.